रंग बर से भीगे चुनर वाली रंग बर से Whether it's Amitabh Bachchan and Rekha or a bunch of young students in Stanford, Holi brings joy to all who dive into this festival of colors. Asha Stanford Holi debuted in 1999 and in its 14th year has grown not just in popularity and size but also in its fundraising. It's really heartening to see it grow in terms of the size that it grew in. 2009 we had about 5000 people and now we have 11000 people spread over 2 days. So, yeah, we've really grown and thanks to Holi we are able to support more than 15 projects in India. So, it has a huge impact in educating a lot of underprivileged children in India. Asha Stanford Chapter's biggest annual fundraiser, Stanford Holi generates over $100,000. These funds are used to provide financial assistance to the underprivileged children in India. We hope to raise upwards of $100,000. Um, we won't know the exact numbers until later, but we are confident we'll reach that number. Asha for Education's decentralized chapters all over the world are volunteer driven keeping overheads to a minimum and ensuring the majority of their funds are utilized for their cause. The fun and colorful Stanford Holi does not just attract Stanford students but the entire Bay Area community as well as sponsors the likes of Zynga. And this this event goes really well with our culture. I mean it's such a fun culture working at Zynga and this is just a, such a fun event. So it is very not very hard to convince people to come here. Our CPO is here, our CTO is here. We have 60 people from Zynga here. We got an entire bus from our headquarters in San Francisco to Stanford just for this event. Is there going to be a Zynga holy game anytime soon? Maybe, maybe. <laughs> I, no promises but maybe. It's a very good idea. <laughs> Volunteer and MC for the event Parmeshwaran says this year they have an action packed holy weekend. So every year we have a lot of fun and a lot of color and there's always some fantastic food and some great performances. So this year we have more performances than usual. So usually we have about 3 performances or so, but this year we have about 7 performances just this day alone. And then tomorrow we have another 5 or 6 lined up. So that's like pretty awesome. That's a great crowd puller, crowd drawer. And the other thing that's really new this year too, as was last year, was that we had not had holy for two days. Like before previous years, we used to just have it for one day. So last year and this year, we have stepped up our game, and there are so many more people interested in coming to holy. So like every day, we have a turnout turn of about six thousand people or so. So it's it's pretty awesome. The huge success of the event is the direct result of the dedication and commitment of the volunteer team. students alums and professionals taking time out of their busy schedules to put together an event of this scale Parmeshwaran says preparations begin well in advance the preparation process starts a long time before holy is actually put up So I think the first emails, the feeler emails start going out in about December. And because Asha Stanford has thrown this holy time and again for so many years, a lot of it is now streamlined. And so we have a lot of documents, you know, you know exactly what everyone's doing. But of course, it's always on any big event. The couple of weeks leading up to it can be chaotic. Far from chaos, smeared in shades of the rainbow, folks played holy with friends, strangers alike as one big family. We caught up with a few folks who made the trip from San Jose. Hey, hey, happy Holi guys. Happy Holi. We are we are especially celebrating our Indian festival here in US. It makes us yeah. really it's really fun. Yeah, it is fun. Really it is fun. And the way it's celebrated here on such a large scale, it's pretty good. What do you think is the best part about? I mean, Holi is now starting to become more and more popular. You know, Asha Stanford was one of the first few organizations that started organizing this, and now it's kind of like everywhere. Why do you guys still come here? Because everybody participates. It's a large crowd it's here. It's on a large scale, and uh, I don't think anybody else has celebrated like this. Yeah, and life is so dull without Holi. It's so much fun, so much color. So yeah, we are looking forward to it. The Coleys from Fremont say Stanford Holy is the place to play holy in the Bay Area. Stanford Holy is unique always, you know, people come from all lots over. of fun, lots of population, lots of colors. And because all you guys are here. <laughs> so the... what is your favorite part about playing holy? What would you say, mom? Colors of course. Colors. <laughs> Having a great time with friends and family, enjoying colors and just living it up. What would you say? Of course, you know, colors, different colors. Have you ever seen these kind of colors? other than this festival 
You see so many bright, beautiful colors. It's only in this festival. Yeah, San Marino Holy. is one of the largest um, holy festival in, in the Northern California, so that's what brings us here. What about you, girls? I think you can definitely get away with annoying people today, and they won't get mad at you. <laughs> yeah, you can bother them all the time. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Tomorrow, tomorrow they're going to get even with them. <laughs> That's all for this week's Thea TV Spotlight. To catch more, log on to youtube.com slash theatvusa. And if you have an event that needs to be covered, send us an email at spotlight at theatvinc.com. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time, right here on Thea TV.